Hey, it's Tom from Under the Radar, Michigan. You know, during the policy conference, a lot of very important decisions are made and things can get a little intense. But for me, there's really only one decision to make. Nuts or no nuts? Mackinac Island has been turning regular tourists into fudgies for over a century. It's an age-old tradition that's being kept alive by mainstays like Murdoch's. Bob Benser Jr. is in charge of all things fudge here. How long has your family been making fudge? Uh, 55 years. My dad uh, came up 55 years ago from Gaylord, Michigan, and um, he got to know Mr. Murdoch really well, and Mr. Murdoch went to retire, and um, like my dad a lot, so he sold the business to uh, yeah, my father, and then he's expanded it from there. We, this was the original? This is the original store, yep. The original recipes, original store. Dating back to? 1887. Same year the Grand Hotel was founded, so 126 years ago. We celebrated our 125th. So you're continuing a tradition. Yeah, very much so, yeah. And I used to make, you know, when I was a little kid, I started in the fudge stores when I was 13 years old, and I don't make so much anymore, but uh, I still enjoy it. I have a piece of fudge every day. Kids will tell you, I come by and <laughs> always have double chocolate's my favorite, so. Well, you know me, I usually try not to fudge things up too much, but this time, it was okay. I mean, oh my gosh! It's like 240 degrees. Do you need a Michigan taster? Because I'm from Michigan. I'll mean, yeah, <laughs> be an authentic one. Michigan taster. How old is the art of making fudge anyway? 1887. This is the original store. and Oh, this store here is the original? Yep, same way as uh, they did back in 1887. Oh my gosh. Why are we leaving it? That looks so, so good. good. So you're Ricardo? Yes. Are you, are, are you like a fourth degree uh, fudge expert? Oh, maybe. What's the most rewarding thing about making fudge? Watching people go, mmm. <laughs> Everybody go, mmm. <laughs> you're right, that was fun. So whether you're nuts or no nuts, you'd be nuts not to pick up some fudge before you leave Mackinac Island. After all, it's just good policy. Get it? Good policy? Good oh boy.